Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vaginal Fantasy Hangout for February. This is our second installment, and with me are the regular players, Bonnie Burton. Uh, Hi. And her dog. Uh, who's Sophie. your dog? Sophie. Who? Sophie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sophie. Sophie. She's looking. You can say her name. She's to... like, what? Hey, 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 guys. What? Close up. Uh, Kyla. Hello. And the lovely Veronica. Hello. And you will notice that um, we all kind of upgraded for this installment. I mean, we have several phallic-looking mics on mm -hmm. on the on the screen here. What about you, Bonnie? I didn't I didn't plug mine in yet. It's tiny what? too. <laughs> God, Bonnie. <laughs> well, no, I was having so many computer problems that I'm not going to risk it. The funny thing is that I bought a new mic, and it's one of these t ball mics. So what does that say about me? Do the blue I have mic, like, it's a blue mic, yeah. it's a snowball. It's a, it's a classic. Okay, but you guys but have pointy mics, yeah. and I have a round mic. Well, it's not pointy. Oh, I wouldn't say this is pointy. I would say it's cocky. Cock-like. Uh, cock <laughs> Cock-like, perhaps. <laughs> and yours is ballsy. Also, I have the biggest mic, so there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I don't have two. I should have two snowballs side to side. There you uh, go. There I did go. want, so, so we're going to talk about the book soon, but I did want to share one thing that happened this month for the, um, for the Hangout. We actually got a logo, Yay! Yay! and we got, uh, and my, my intern Delaney was assigned uh, to do this, so she got college credit for this, wow. and, which is kind of Oh, odd. that's hey, awesome. What kind of college is she going it's to? It's like a real job. Yeah, except she's unpaid, but she gets credit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Wow. No one gets paid anymore. No. It's, it's so, awesome. like, last century, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and awesome. So, so with you guys' refinement, we actually um, had a much skinnier waist model that I posted, <laughs> and then we had some very creepy pictures posted of women with that actual kind of no-rib situation. So mm -hmm. we revised it to your input, and then we made it chocolate brown instead of black. So thank yeah. you for your uh, feedback. It's a I very healthy, it, healthy physique now, I think. It's, it's very corset-like. Yes. Kyla's original one that was like the Van Halen theme. <laughs> 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 the Van Halen is no good. I, I, did way, I have to apologize. I'm sick, so oh. I might sound a little more raspy than usual. But I have raspy. I have whiskey in my. I have that where, mug. Where's your giant goblet? That yeah. You have? I was gonna drink wine, but I thought that might kill me. So. Hot toddy, maybe. Can't you oh, drink mead? Maybe, yeah. You can't Mold drink cider. hard liquor out of a huge wine glass? I could, but then it's like hot because it's hot tea and I might hurt myself. I have a Buffy mug. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you get credit for that. I have wine. But I have that same mug. I have that exact same mug. Yeah, it's a good mug. Mm -hmm. It will kill these germs. It will. Kill, kill them dead. It will slay them. I think we're all drinking some kind of alcohol. I logged on and Veronica had a drink in her hand and I was like, I don't know if I have any alcohol in my house, and I have a tiny bottle of wine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're such a delicate flower. I love you it. Are. Did, you, did you get that from an airplane? Where is that from? No, I just, um, since I don't drink at home, I only drink oh. when I, uh, like at a party You're where it's such free. such a liar. I know. <laughs> I have yelled at you like three times in the past month for that bullshit lie. <laughs> you drink every time I see you. I drink only because you. You're a very bad influence, Veronica. I don't. Live a little. Uh, I Dang, live. Come on, I, I have agree. A, it's this is for cooking. I was doing some uh -oh. seafood pasta, and but I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> Did you just call her a butthole? <laughs> Who me? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I totally misheard you. I thought you went butthole. No. <laughs> I'm going to call her a butthole. But I, I like that. for the I rest like of the thing. Heavily. Felicia, you're a butthole. <laughs> so when you say it's for cooking, do you mean cooking your liver? <laughs> no, I meant sauces. I don't know. Oh, I oh, like wine reduction. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I to make a delicate white sauce. wine. White wine sauce for my fish. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst Julia Child ever. <laughs> you will win no Oscar, lady. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and I use Maker's Mark for cooking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I use okay. it to get up in the morning. So. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but don't we have to fix our hair? First? Oh, oh, yes, okay, so, okay. so before we proceed, guys, and talk about the book of the month, let's, okay, let's, let's do all. a little grooming. All right. Yeah, Just a okay. little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Veronica, we all have, uh, you know, our combs on staff. <laughs> Some yeah. chapstick. 
on my lips. How are you putting on lipstick without a mirror? No, it's chapstick. Because you have a you have a camera. It's yeah, better than a mirror. Yeah, it's a summer camp. Trip. And plus, after after as many years as you've been alive, you know where your lips are, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know where they are. <laughs> it's not like you're doing lip liner, because that would be hard. That, then oh. you get that lady lip, you know, where it's like oh. slightly out of your real lip. But can you do it like <laughs> lady breakfast? lip? Can you do it like breakfast, breakfast club style, where you put it between your... Between your... Yeah. Um, may, maybe some women nope. can do that, but I can't do it. I don't. I have no, not nothing to support anything. Yeah. Either. I'm not flexible enough. Literally, no. it would have to be this big. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest tube of lipstick <laughs> ever. Okay. All right. So. All right. So vaginal fantasy. This month, we decided to do a vaginal mystery um, called "Silent in the Grave" by Deanna Rayborn. Is that how you say it, Kyla? Yes. Since you're Twitter buddies with the author, we're best friends. Forever. Oh, get yeah. out! Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my best gosh, friends. she's gonna be watching. I hope so. Oh, oh nice. That's yeah. exciting. She was actually um, offered to come on, but we—it's so early. We didn't know whether we whether you guys wanted to have author guests or what. So we thought maybe we incorporate your feedback. Whether you think we should maybe have an author on, you know, for like 15 minutes during the segment, or you're like, no way. I don't know. Just you could leave your feedback. Uh, but uh, could you show the cover again? Because yeah, Bonnie, yeah. I think you're the only person who actually yeah. uses paper anymore. Yeah. Hey, don't, don't what is me. that? That's dangerous. It's gonna be. It's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> it will. Mm -hmm. um, so we all. Uh, Kyla and I have read the book before. We thought it was an excellent choice for the book, but we got some interesting feedback. I don't know. You guys want to chime in to what you saw, everybody, or should we talk about what we feel first? I I really I, I go ahead, Kyla. You go first. Oh, I, I think that what I saw was a lot of people were, while well, they really enjoyed the book, they were a little frustrated by the lack of sex. I was one of them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, honestly, I pretended almost all the way to the end of the book that Brisbane was a, va was a werewolf. I had right. to. Right. When they described his yeah. chest hair, I'm like, werewolf. When they what? talked about his temper tantrums, werewolf. I had to because it was boring. I tried to it, get into the book, but I was like, where is my sex? I oh. like the small. He's so smoldery, though. It's like right under the surface. He's, he's an, an asshole. Oh. He's an asshole. He doesn't know he's how to show his feelings. He doesn't know how to love. <laughs> <laughs> He no, can I see the know. future, and he's tormented by it. Why does he... Oh, whatever. I don't know. This future was annoying. I have to say, it was like, she thought about so many things all the time. The whole book was about her thinking about stuff. Like, it just, it felt like... Just do but that's what I thought about it. It, it was a, it's a character study. That's why I think it's really interesting, because there's so many layers to how she was emerging from her shell and finding herself after being constrained for so many years you know when she didn't even realize it. This book would be perfect for women who have been in long-term relationships that just got dumped, or for <gasps> widows, because clearly it's about. So you mean people who are exactly experiencing the same thing as the lead character <laughs> yeah. can only relate to this? Yeah. Only Victorian ladies, yeah, living in Victorian England. Like, I was just like, she is boring the hell out of me. Like, at least I like learned some things about what you're supposed to do in mourning, but. Mm -hmm. I cared more about Portia and Jane. I want to know about that relationship. Portia and Jane were well. That's what I, the, another thing that I really loved about this book and why I thought it was well, we picked it because um, because there's some interesting dealings with homosexuality and lesbianism in a way that I felt like wasn't just kind of shoot. You know, I, I read a lot of these books and then a lot of the time it's like, hey, I'm a a girl who was born in 2010, but I just happen to be transported back to this time because mm -hmm. the the mindset isn't believable that somebody growing up then would ever think this pluckily in a sense, right? Ooh, so that's why I liked about what she did. I love that you said pluckily. Well, you know. Good. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I just, I kind of felt like, honestly, if, if there had been more action, more violence, more anything, more with the gypsies, I would have been more intrigued. But maybe I was looking at it more as an, ad, like an action-adventure romance. And yeah. not a, we're going to sit on the couch and talk about corsets for three pages or about the snack I'm feeding the raven or whatever. I did like the I, raven though. I love that raven. Yeah, and I liked that it was it was kind of a um, a book of manners, you know? Like I liked mm -hmm. that it had that kind of that it sort of throwback feel to um, English lit, you know, I'm an English lit major, so I'm gonna like that. But not everybody is gonna like that. Well I'm an English lit major too. 
Okay, never mind. Oh, well, well, no, no, no. <laughs> well I have to go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody show the diploma immediately. I do not believe you're accredited in brooding uh, gothic heroes. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I liked the book a lot. I really liked Julia as a character, and it definitely felt like a first book in a series to me. Like, and I think coming off of Alex Craft, I was expecting a little more action adventure, a little more sauciness um, to the storyline itself. Um, and so I always kind of felt like I was waiting. And maybe that was the intent of the author to kind of make you feel like yes there is something's going to happen eventually between Julia and Brisbane but you don't get to see it in this book you're only going to get like a little taste of what's to come and I also was expecting maybe I just had false impressions about what the what the book was going to be about because I kept expecting more paranormal or I kept expecting mm -hmm. more sex to happen and then at the end it's like oh and by the way spoiler alert if you haven't read the book we're probably <laughs> going to talk about the things that happen yeah. in the book no so, complaining yeah. one person be like yeah. oh you Okay, hey, sorry. It's a, it's a book club. Yes. Um, <laughs> Supposed so to read the book. I thought the twist at the end was really good. I really liked the Edward twist. I thought that was pretty great. And I kind of saw a duck coming, but didn't really see it coming. So when, when that relationship at the end came out, I was like, oh, well, okay, so that's the reason Simon is in this book, basically. Because mm -hmm. the whole time I was like, why is Simon in this book, really? Yeah. What's going on with this character? And uh, so overall, I would say I enjoyed it. I am curious enough to read the next book, much as I was with the Alex Craft series. Um, but I wanted a little more bang for my buck. I felt like <laughs> it was a lot of, of you know, a book of manners. It was a little too much of that. And while I thought the characters were very advanced, I thought that their point of views were very advanced. And I know that at the time, like, like gay and lesbian relationships weren't, weren't the norm and weren't that public, but I think they did have a somewhat more cavalier attitude toward it than we expected them to, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm, I mean, no, am I, am I, okay, she's Well, I mean, I think now. that <laughs> she, she set up this very eccentric family, so she gave the framework where these, this, the family would be a little bit more out of the box, but she mm -hmm. did, you know, she set up Floor, who is this courtesan character, and kind of, not, she wasn't this, hey, courtesanship is awesome, but she had like a sadness about her, which I thought was interesting. And um, she set up, you know, I, I felt like I appreciated the idea that Julia was the straight-laced in the family, so mm -hmm. it made you believe the world. And at the same time, what I thought was the most interesting is that Julia, even in her own voice, came to realize that she made herself normal in order to stand out from her weirdo family. So mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I kind of related to that and that, you know, I mean, my family is much more out there than I guess, you know, I would be uh, in my, uh, so I, I tended to really relate to Julia and I admired the fact that she kind of eventually found her own voice in overcoming, you know, the, these kind of stereotypes she had or these beliefs she had about her family. So yeah. it was definitely, I totally agree with you, it's definitely an homage to all the gothic things. She even calls out, like, Wuthering Heights and Heathcliff, like, in a self-referential mm -hmm. way. So it's obviously author's homage to this genre, and it, it, it definitely heats up in books two and three, I can definitely say that. So your, your point is well taken in that it does tend to take off in the next couple books, which isn't really part of this, but... yeah. You know. Also, I found it a little bit weird that we go through the whole book, and then at one point I was finally like, okay, nothing paranormal is really going to happen. And then it's like, oh, and now we just all accept that he sees the future in his dreams. Yeah. It's, like, oh, it's like that suspension of disbelief for me was a little like, oh, okay, so... I, I was kind of led to believe that this is just a normal, typical world because you haven't introduced anything paranormal whatsoever or, you know, out of the ordinary whatsoever. And then just suddenly it's like, everyone accepts that he sees the future in his frickin' dreams. So. Yeah, He's go. Got, yeah, go. Uh, I, I didn't have a problem with it because, you know, I mean, if you look at uh, Jane Eyre, right? I mean, there's, some, there's a lot of creepy mystery that's happening in there. Um, and... Uh, to me, there, it was the same thing. I mean, they, she set up this plot of gypsies. You know, you got to know about how the family felt about having gypsies on their land and um, that they'd been dealing with them for forever. And, mm -hmm. and so... It, it, gypsies don't sense. necessarily mean true magic in a story. I mean... They don't. <laughs> hey, I have gypsy blood, okay? Oh, do I you know. really? I really? do. Oh, awesome. How would that happen? I'm Italian. 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 We don't do gypsies. Science? <laughs> 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 you had you had gypsy injected into you? Yes. That's very odd. Wait, is that what we're calling? <laughs> it young. I'm like, mm -hmm. that's how I get my sick that dance moves. Sex? That's what you call sex, yeah. Veronica, be honest. So <laughs> I, just, I just want to say that I was surprised by incorporating now the feedback on the forums and everything over the last month. 
I, okay, I particularly, you know, you guys uh, were, the other ladies were privy to us, kind of the tumult in, with which I picked the Alex Craft, because we had picked another book that had, like, crazy graphic sex in it, and I was like, well, we don't want to start off on the foot that we're just going to, you know, read all these porny books. Let's start off with respectable books. And Alex Craft has a really good sex scene in it, um, but not a ton, like your average. So, you know, Kyle and I were like, hey, let's do this gothic romance. It'll be... First comment, why is there not more getting it on? I'm like, okay, guys, next month we will get it on. Oh, That's yeah. all I got to say. <laughs> There's going to be super, super sex in the super next sex. Day. Super yeah. sex. Super sex. Yeah. <laughs> Gratuitous. There'll be no plot to support it. It'll just no. be like, hey, his pulsing loins and all her quim hush is yeah. With the quim, with the quimming Quim. and the whatnot. Quimming. The quimming. <laughs> <Quim -ing. laughs> that's what, that's what, all right. Vaginal fantasy, the quimming. <laughs> Oh, Michelle Ogle. Oh, this episode. But you know what? With women, there there can be more than one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's my Highlander joke. The quimining part two. <laughs> more than one what? What? Body. More than one quim Orgasm. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant more than one guy. I know. I was like. Well, sure. I was confused. I know what book I'm reading. <laughs> we talked about this oh, last man. time. The that was comedy game. gold. Those vampire books where she's yeah. sleeping with a whole freaking nest of vampires. No, I don't, yeah, I don't like it. I mean, listen, there's a limit. There's a limit to how much, <laughs> unless you have a proportionally larger. There isn't, California King is the biggest b bed that you can have. So you should definitely plan appropriately for, per so your you real estate. Do you think we're deciding what the orgy is going to be based on what futon size we have? I mean, I would do that. <laughs> What what is happening? <laughs> I, just, I, I was with everything and then I got I got separated. I now we're I talking about know. futon size. Yeah, tiny drink your tiny wine. little drink. Drink oh, your tiny I wine. Oh good. Oh wine break. Wow, I'm being right, a respectable break. one drinking tea with whiskey. So there you just go. before we <laughs> before we throw it back to uh, comments that we're reading, like so so have. I mean, we were trying to touch on the whole vaginal mystery subgenre, and we were using this one. Do, have you guys ever read any more like mystery romance novely things? Uh, I read. A, I mean, I've read a lot of Agatha Christie. Um, Is there sex in Agatha Christie? No, but I, th I would like Ivanovich. to write some. I like for Dan and Ivanovich books. Oh yeah, those were good until they just went on forever. Yeah. yeah, well, she's like on book what twenty now? I don't know. I know. I like the um, Laurie R. King books about um, Mary Russell. They're not sexy, but they're uh, they're in the Sherlock Holmes canon. It's like an alternate storyline of Sherlock Holmes where she's his young apprentice and later yeah, so partner. Do they have sex? They they <laughs> I imagine they do. Wait, they don't. What? They, it's not descriptive. Oh well, d no, not for this group. <laughs> but they're great books. They're great books. I want to I want to know more about these books because I read the Beekeeper's Assistant. Yes, the Beekeeper's that Apprentice. That's oh, the that, first book. Yeah, yes. that's what I read. Okay. Yeah, and yes, they just get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. I like that book. Yeah, They're I have very, a couple that I've read. That, built. Oh, yeah, I love the ones. For some reason, it's better the historical ones. I read a really good one by Reese something or other that was a girl in her in the twenties. So she was like this flapper. A oh, British fun. Flapper. It was really fun. It's not a lot, not a lot of getting it on, but it's very. They're very lighthearted mysteries. And mm -hmm. then my other favorites are. Um, there's one by uh, Vicky Peters that um, is. It's like a. It's a modern day. Well, it's probably like ten years old, but there. It's like a modern day like thief and uh, and an insurance investigator. Have anybody ever watched Banachek? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> it's like the reverse of that in a in a mystery book with a woman and a guy. So it's nothing like it. No, oh, okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> You're drunk. No, I'm not. I, I mean, know. I did have an inch. It's just like the Bible, but there's a girl and a guy, and we solve mysteries. Oh, oh boy. Wait, so are we, yeah. are we, done? Are okay. we done talking about the book now? No, 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 no. no. no okay. We can go back to the book. Let's go back to the book, because people want, wanted to talk about it. I yeah. Do I do want to say something about that, that Felicia touched on, that there was a point in the book when the main character is making fun of these types of books, mm -hmm. and I felt like going, I know, I'm hating this book because you're not having sex right now. <laughs> like, I, how many hours were wasted reading? Oh, like, oh cool. Yeah. Is it really all about the sex? I mean, listen, if well, there no, had no, been no. like two... I like wait. sexual tension, too. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's not all about the bang, bang, thank you, ma'am. I totally did that wrong, but you know what I mean. 
Wham, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Thank, 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 thank you for it's, all. It's about the romance in the sense that it's, it's the smoldering stuff and the sexual tension, but the sexual tension in this book was so under so many layers that I felt like it wasn't tension-y enough. You know, it felt like a girl, she acted like a virgin half the time, she wasn't. I don't know. She, well, no. She was kind of a ver I mean, I, I got the Nina impression was, they had yeah. not had, she had not had a lot of relations with her husband. Well, I mean, they, they must have consummated their marriage at, at the very least. Yeah. Right? I mean, they must have. Because they said that she couldn't get, get with child and that mm -hmm. it was probably her fault. She was under the impression that she was barren. But, but because he left her bed. So no, I think, I think, yeah, I think, no, but I think she thinks the reason he left her bed is because that she was oh. barren and unable to get with child. And so she was like, okay, well, we still like each other, but I'm barren, so he has no reason to be in well, my bed. Well, why didn't she take a lover? Everybody else was taking lovers right and left. Why didn't she? Because she was boring. <laughs> she was a no, woman who was trying boring. to live in a world of, she was, she got unboring. Her. She got yeah. unboring later, but originally she was, you know, very set in her kind of traditional ways because she wanted to be that way. So she was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just a normal girl. This isn't working out. We're just going to have one of these kind of quasi-loveless relationships where we respect and like each other and live together in this, this kind of ho this house that I don't really like that much because it's all his stuff and his design aesthetic is really bad, but I'm just going to put <laughs> up with it and whatever. And but then, isn't, that, isn't the definition of her, basically she was letting her intellect uh, rule the way that she wanted to live versus the way that she, wanted, she was truly like? So that the, the arc of her character is that she was wrapped in all these layers of intellectualism that she trapped mm -hmm. herself in, and then his death gave her the opportunity to really find who she was. I mean, I think that's a yeah. pretty respectable arc. No, she, I mean, she had right? smothered herself in her own normalcy, mm -hmm. in a way. You know, she had become the thing that she thought she was supposed to be. And so it, didn't, it, it took Edward dying for her to be like, okay, now I can you know, at the behest of her sister of Portia and like everyone else in her world of kind of being like, listen, you're not this person. You know you're not this person. It's time to suck it up and, and come out of your shell a little bit. Also put on a few pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Like haircut. I, liked, I liked that. That was good advice. And I that was good advice. Dad, I love that her dad was like, yeah, you need to get out there and wear low cut stuff. I mean, yeah, like, start dating. But the you know? one time she like wore, what was it, like some outfit she wore that showed off the sisters, as it were? The, the uh, red dress that she wore yeah, to the dinner party? was like, hello. Hello. Glad to see all of you. <laughs> Her dad sounds exactly like my mom sounded to me in college. Your mom, mom was always like, telling you to get your boobs out? <laughs> Basically. She was like, you need to party more. You're boring. Oh, my dad yeah. does the same thing. I talk to my dad really? every Sunday, and he asked me what I did the week, that whole week. And if there's not a social activity involved, I get the lecture. Oh, so really? Get out, Parents. Get always trying to make us do stuff. Oh. Yeah. I'm always uh, trying to pretend to, uh, that I don't ever drink anything to my mom. <laughs> Still. Well, no, no. If no, she, she follows your Twitter, she, know that's, uh, she knows that you're an abject liar. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't, she, doesn't, she doesn't know how Twitter works, but uh, she, she knows. She knows I'm lying. She just likes to, you know, pretend... She likes to play into my story, you know. What else do you tell her? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all. My mom only follows me and LeVar Burton on Twitter. <laughs> Why LeVar? Because she likes LeVar Burton a lot. Aww. He's a very nice guy. I've met him twice. Nice oh, oh. You oh, yeah, we twice. know LeVar Burton. What, you don't? Weird. <laughs> oh, did I drop a name? LeVar. Uh, Oh, oh, let, me, let me pick that <laughs> name up that you just dropped. Oh, oh LeVar. I, I'm, just, I'm pretending I'm related to LeVar Burton. Just oh, we've had this discussion before. I know. <laughs> the resemblance is striking. But Canny, <laughs> uncanny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so the consensus is that Kyle and I liked the book more than you guys did. Mm -hmm. But I, didn't I read it. The minute, the minute that the problem is that having read the book before and I didn't reread it until this week because I was I read like ten other trashy books in the in the interim. But um, what? you read when, ten books and why don't you have the freaking time to do this shit? I like my I don't know I don't know guys. I probably read six books, six or seven. If you look at my Goodreads stream, I'm yes I don't you know. You read them and write about them. Yes. When do you sleep? I just, I read a book like every two days. Like it's well, very, I yeah. speed read, so I'll read half of a paperback book in, in a day. So let's talk about this real fast because my problem is I, I, you know, I obviously belong to two book clubs, this one and Sword and Laser, and so I have books that I need to be reading. My problem is every time I get in bed at night, I start reading 
instantly fall asleep. Yeah, like <laughs> instantly, like Me too. not even half a page, and I am snoring like a mother effort. <laughs> oh. like, oh. What the hell? How do you stay awake? Methamphetamine? Like, what <laughs> well, are you reading? But you read all these. Re you read the thinky stuff too, Veronica. You're very good with the thinky sci-fi. Are you reading a lot of like really <sighs> horribly smutty books? Yeah. I mean, this this was supposed to be my smutty book. Well, okay, we'll get you smut. We'll get yeah. you smut. Did we decide on the book for next time? No. Uh, wasn't it N N Nalini Singh? Yes. What yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah, we're going to do uh, Slave to Sensation, I believe. That's the yeah. Name. We'll let, let's see if I can figure out. How, I'm going to link the, the cover because you guys are going to be happy, all right? Okay, I'll, I'll add it to our upcoming reads in good Wait, week. wasn't it a hot, well, there's a hot guy on the cover, wasn't there? Well, I yeah. yeah, I wanted to get... Um, I think I wanted to the hot guy. Yes, you did. But because um, uh, we wanted a, a kind of a vaginal sci-fi entry. Yeah. So <laughs> that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> okay. Also, we're not worldwide trending yet. WTF? What? 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 Guys, oh, God. internet. I am disappointed. I'm I am disappointed in people. I am disappointed as well. Now. Tweet the tweet. Retweet it. Okay. Here. Uh, this is the book. And I mean, look at that. Ooh. Hey yo. He, He's in, he's in a, a, a mauve. What is with that font? Whoa. Oh, come on. That's all kinds of sexy font. It's just, <laughs> that is just. That's okay. Okay. Is is he, can you link that in the chat in the Hangout? Because it's uh, a group chat, so I can post it onto the Goodreads page. Is, is, uh, is he in the shower in that picture? Because it seems like he's in the shower. He's That's pretty so. in my mind. Here, let me go back to it, because you, you need to get more of this. Even though yeah. we should be on the book that we're doing now, whatever. We'll do what okay. we want. Fine. Yeah. We'll do what we want, and we'll like it. Um, uh, I'm going to do what I want. It's, uh, <laughs> it appears that he's in the shower, and I am going to believe that he's in the shower for the entire book. He's in a showering shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the chat room in IRC is not feeling the book cover. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we say to <laughs> alleviate yeah. their 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 I mean, feelings here? Guys, listen, I'm only responding to the majority of posts that I saw that they wanted more smut in their vaginal fantasy. It's true. So this is a very books. smutty book. I think the writing is better than the average smutty book. Uh, we could have gone with like Gina Showalter or like, um, uh, you know, I have a couple others we could have gone with that are seriously smutty. But to me, this one has a sci-fi twist that I'm sure you ladies are going <laughs> to have questions with. And right, so it's a sci-fi? This is vaginal sci-fi? Would you categorize it? I mean, the, the thing about this world is, and we're going to talk about this next month, so we should go back to vaginal fantasy, but just to set it up for you, the world is shapeshifters and uh, uh, people who are trapped in sort of a quasi-computer matrix of silence of emotion. So it's like science fiction, you know, sort of uh, genetically altered people and pairing up with crazy werewolves. It's like I, <laughs> everyone is on antidepressants, like, but like major antidepressants where it totally um, inhibits their libido and, uh, and, and any other emotions. So college. Happen, but mostly just sex. Yeah. So yeah. What? Lots of, lots of, I mean, this is, you guys wanted it, and I'm going to get a lot of complaints. Hey, this is not classy like I thought it was. You guys, okay, whatever, guys. You, I'm, I'm warning you now. You asked for it, or you five people that I read your comments asked for it. So wait, so is it like Prozac Nation, but with vampires? Mm, no vampires. There's no vampires. Werewolves. Aliens? Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters. Okay. 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 Yeah. I'll take it. So I'll we'll get it. there. We'll link it, we'll link it around, and uh, let's get back to our gothic romance, because clearly I like the torrid sky. Oh, mm. Will Wheaton and his abs. Yeah. That should have been the cover. It's really not... There you go. I don't think those are his... I don't <laughs> are you kidding? Those are mine. Those, those are mine. Motorboat, <laughs> motorboat. <laughs> and then those are like Morse code. We need to totally a nipple. Wow. <laughs> Please stop doing that to Will's nipple. <laughs> I'm tweeting with Will. <laughs> Will Wheaton. Can't help it. He's on the wall. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Okay. He knows it's happening. Okay. Right, I'm going to show that. I'm showing right now that uh, we've got our, hold on, our Goodreads up. Oh, look at right there. Yes, you guys can join the forum to have a more centralized discussion about all mm -hmm. sorts. And you know what was cool about the forum this month? I really love the fact that all these people started posting about what they were gamers. So there's a big cross section mm -hmm. of people who discovered each other 
that they like this kind of genre. And they also like gaming, so that's a really awesome thread. I was excited that people were kind of... Yeah, I like that one, too. So I've been categorizing things. I'm a Goodreads nerd, so I've made a different forum, forum threads for each book. So Excellent. when we start discussing uh, Slave to Sensation... <laughs> you can't even say it! <laughs> slave to Sensation! Slave to Sensation! Slave to Sensation! <laughs> slave to sensation. <laughs> I can't believe, I don't know why I just did that on the internet. It sounds like a candy ad. It sounds like a candy ad, like, yeah. I don't uh, know. Are you a slave to sensation? <laughs> why do I have to do it in lispy voice? Like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it's weird because we're talking yeah. about a werewolf man, I believe. I, I can't remember. He's a shifter. shifter. Guys, okay, let's talk about the, the <laughs> lack of like, shifting. No! That's not a werewolf, you idiot. <laughs> okay. You butthole. By the way, Stupid I, posted that, I posted that on, um, on Twitter the other day that all books are better were with a werewolf. Mm -hmm. And I, I will stand by that. Unless mm -hmm. it's one of those Twilight books. But, but to me, I don't like chest hair, so I have a problem with that. Oh, so that's what? Like what? I don't not like chest hair, but, you, you know, I, are I think... anti werewolf. I, are I'm not as attracted to werewolf. I like the sleek, contained yeah, vampire. Wolfist. Wolfist. I, yeah. I like the immortals. They know more. They, they, they have... Yeah, their but they, 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 like, totally put you down all the time. Because they know a lot. They're just trying to guide you, and I don't like hot bodies. I'm a very, like, I'm like, oh, it's too hot. Yeah, no. I, I don't I like that I feel that, that way in, in real life a yeah. lot. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. the attractiveness of a semi-dead man <laughs> is better when you're sleeping. It's better for cuddling, so you don't get too hot. Yeah, yeah, well, okay. I, you know, I, I, it's like I'm a man boy. You. I don't want the man boy, no, like, hairless... Man. Harry I want, like, get like rugged. Harry yeah. can't get itchy. I mean, it needs I to be well-groomed. So. Manscaped. Oh, no. That's no, not man, important. That's so metro. But what is important is that they're not super fit. Because if they're, like, <sighs> if they go to the gym more than I do, I oh, will, yeah, I, no, like, I'm, no. I'm never eating again. Nope. <laughs> That's really true. Nope. Screw that. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I always date guys that look like they just, just kicked a heroin habit. No. So, like wait, what? What does that mean? Like, like real skinny, really skinny and pale? And I can probably throw them across the room, and they're really moody. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of at, at replies, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm single, really. Yeah. So. I feel mm. like I'm not explaining it very well, though, either. Because <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying... Because they, be, they should be in shape, just not, you know, like, it's as shape. if they're there, like, eight hours a day. That, that's just gross. It's no. insane and gross. And I don't well, it's just I don't like body dysmorphia dudes. Now, yeah. I feel like, now I feel like I've just, I'm being a jerk. Like I'm, no. I'm being sexist no. or something. No, no, I see what you're saying. Like if, uh, <laughs> if you feel the need to, 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 if you didn't comb your hair, then that guy might, you know, look better than you. It's, right. It's, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't no, know. I was. Uh, I remember when I was reading when I was reading our our current book pick. I turned to to my significant other and I said, "I wish I lived in Victorian England where I could be like ten pounds overweight and it was okay and it was cool and everyone was telling me to gain some weight. That'd be awesome. Thanks." <laughs> but then like, what? you, what are you even talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I get and then that you would have died in childbirth, and then you yeah. probably would have had yeah. tuberculosis. I mean, and I would have syphilis yeah. and you yeah, know, all that's the what I would have. Yeah, I because would have died of a yeah. bladder infection. This was like week of syphilis for me, and yeah. I don't mean that for Whoa. me. Wait, I what? Mean, I <laughs> read this book, and then I played Dear Esther, which is a, a uh, video game did that you also like that? deals with syphilis. You played a syphilis um, video game? There's a syphilis video there game. There is a syphilis video No, not really. It's not really a syphilis video game. Veronica, I played that this week, too, and I just have to say, I was so frustrated with the fact that I glided around and I couldn't get over a small rock. I just, I rage quit. I played like half of it. It's an hour and a half long game. It you made me hold angry. Out. No, All I right. needed to jump. It's a pebble. I shouldn't be able to jump in there and get in the water. You're supposed to be experiencing. Experiencing. I drowned in the first minute and a half because I was like, what's in the water? I'm going to go swim out here. And then I, so I didn't do well in that game. Oh, I by the way, yeah. I am super jealous of your mad blacksmithing skills, <gasps> Alicia. Did you what see that? Hell? My, like, most powerful thing is, like, 70 damage, and you're like, meh, 250. I'm gonna That's not even that good. I just found out you can Icy use hot. alchemy. Something yeah, I see hot. I, um, I uploaded a video this week, or uh, Friday night, I made a video. I was like, hey, rather than watch, do anything else, I'm going to make a video, which is the funnest because I finally captured video game footage and edited it together and, uh, and I showed off my bow and here's it, here it is, Veronica, you've got to make an outfit and you've got to get your enchanting up to 100 and you've got to enchant each of your outfit pieces I know. so it'll boost it 26% and then 
It I'm working on my blacksmithing now because I'm trying to get my. About this, I'm gonna play words with friends. Okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm no, sorry, no, no. I'm okay, okay, okay. I did it. That was no, my I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Video games. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no. But, but your Felicia, your your blacksmithing outfit was impressive. I I do. I do want to tell you that. Gale out. It's like not that hard to get. She just oh. made it better. Oh, 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 oh wow. Veronica, yeah. I'm sure that your blacksmithing outfit is going to be even better. Well, no, it's not. Yeah. No, you no. will. You'll be able to get a fancy dress <laughs> or maybe even a blacksmithing apron, which has its oh. own, like... You're boring my dog. Oh. oh, dog, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. I think I we had should... A question. I had a question. Okay. So when okay. you guys read these books, because I do this because I'm weird like this, do you cast people in the characters as you're reading it? Like, do you have actors that you think of when you're reading it? Or do That's you just interesting. Or like, do you like, make up a person that doesn't exist for the book? Because this I do is, both. This is a discussion that we have often on Sword and Laser, and I go both ways with this. Sometimes if there's a character that I feel is very, very, you know, similar to someone in, in you know, usually it's like a celebrity or someone's in a similar role that's been cast before I kind of place them in. But in this book, no. In this book, I just kind of imagined totally new people. So I don't know. New what about people? you guys? <laughs> new! Like invented people. Uh, new, like new. invented new people. Okay. I never, I never imagine celebrities. I just, it's to me that they're too real. I need people to be completely in an amorphous situation where I can project into them. But yeah. Brisbane would have been Clive Owen would be a good Brisbane. I, do, I personally think. Yeah. But he, I, everybody's or, a good Brisbane. Clive Owen's Clive a good Owen. hero. Whatever. Are you kidding? I, I love him, but I do not see him in that role at all. I don't really? I, 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 I IRC, IRC, okay. tell, us, t tell us who you see in your roles. Who would you cast in the roles? And we'll get back to them once they answer. Okay, good. I, I see Michael uh, Fassbender, right? That's yes, it. you linked him. Yeah. He, he's I real. Thought, I thought Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, no, you're just saying that. No, no you just always say that. No! I think it was because there's <laughs> a lot of moments in the book, right, where Brisbane is doing very Sherlockian things. Like, like opium? Playing the violin. It wasn't playing opium, it was absinthe. Uh, oh, he was a things. former opium addict. Okay, you're Living right. Things, yeah. Having drug problems, fight, like boxing, hello. Those are all Sherlock, classic Sherlock okay. things. I see him more as like Joe Manganiello from, from True Blood. The Al Alcide, Alcide. Oh, yeah, that guy. Oh. Okay. But that was yeah. when I was still thinking he was going to be a vampire or a or werewolf or something. Well, and once I people put the werewolf thing out there, when I reread it, I was like, oh, man, he should have been a werewolf. I mean, yeah. thank you. Yeah. you. Al Alcide is hot, but real dumb. Just really? dumb as rocks. Yeah, he's I think not so. that dumb. Oh, he's, he's dumb as not rocks. that dumb. He's, he's sweet. Um, Wait, the character or the actor? The char I don't know the actor. Okay. I, don't wanna <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, do you know? <laughs> but I would like to. <laughs> but um, in the books, even, I'll see it as not too bright. Like, he's meant to be not so bright. He's, uh, yeah. I don't think he's meant to be not bright. I just think he's... I've read all the books. Sadly. Me too. I haven't and read the last one. Did you read it? Yeah, I did. And, and um, right? It was pretty good. Oh, it was? Oh, okay. I'll download okay it tomorrow. Now they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, what was I talking about now? I don't even remember. Okay. Uh, what was I about see. to say? Well, he oh, dumb. he's not, like, he's, he's just supposed to be, like, loyal and kind of, like, pack mentality. You know, kind of more going on that. He's, he's more like a wolf than, than a regular person. More instinct. Like, or instinctual. Instinct or exactly. So I wouldn't say dumb, I would just say more instinctual. I don't even watch that show anymore because when I started reading the books years before, um, I just, I thought Eric was the hottest thing ever on paper, and I was like, well, I don't need to read mm -hmm. the rest, because they should just be together, and if I don't, if I read the last page, and they're not together, then I'm not interested in continuing, but I would read mm -hmm. them anyway, and then I'd always be like, well, why aren't they together, because he's so hot, <laughs> Eric, in those books, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, I got and mad, because I tried to watch the show, and too much was different from the book, so I got mad, exactly. and... And rage quit. Me too. I um, totally agree with you. I got through season two, and I was, so I haven't even seen, I've seen stills of the actor all see, but I haven't even watched that season because I was like, see, it's too different. I mm -hmm. didn't read the books, but I watched the show, so I'm the opposite. And actually, I tried to read the books, and I didn't like them, and I rage quit the books. Really? Oh, interesting. Yep. yep. Mm, I was the same interesting. way. I didn't like the books either. Wow, that's so weird, because I was so loyal to the books, and I was like, I, even with the casting, I was like, no. And then I watched it, and I was like, well, she's really good. No, the, the plot's too different. <laughs> I was All right, let me, yeah. 
Let me read some feedback from the IRC. Um, okay, so let's we start said, taking some questions. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah, start yeah. looking around. Um, Phil, Phil himself says uh, Cumberbatch or Cumberbitch would uh, fit well in that Victorian era. So there's Thank a vote for, for Benedict. Thank you. Um, let's see. They're, they're mostly arguing over what kind of drug Sherlock Holmes did. Oh, he didn't know. do opium? They're saying heroin, no, it was opium, no. it was a oh, cocaine, 7% solution. Cocaine. I'm pretty sure it was cocaine. I thought it was cocaine. It was cocaine. Um, oh. Him Let's and see. Freud. Cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say um, Michelle Dockery uh, from Downton Abbey is how I pictured Lady Julia. That's from T2 The I Am. Mm -hmm. uh, which Wait, may think that's a little show crossover a little yeah. bit. And then Tony says, I don't see faces until I've seen the movie first, too, and I'd rather just imagine something rather than an actor. Yeah, uh, see, yeah, I like, I agree with that. I, I mean, for some reason, when it gets too real, then I feel like it's too smutty. Mm. That's why I like reading the books. It's more like... Do you feel like a creep, like seeing real people that yeah. you see on television, like doing yes. stuff? The reason, the reason I brought that up is because a lot of writers, when they're writing this stuff, they say that they envision actors and it helps them write the book. So I, I write fiction too, not just really creepy slash fiction, but real fiction. And when I write fiction, I think of actors as well. So that's why mm. I was wondering if readers do, because I know that Anne Rice had said that Rutger Hauer was who she based Lestat on. Mm. But when Rutger Hauer was hot, like Blade Runner style. Mm -mm. Not when no. he was creepy. <laughs> what, you didn't like him in Blade Runner? I no, I did. of course I did. I like oh, Rutger okay. Hauer. Um, and he was amazing in Lady Hawk, right? Wasn't that Rutger Hauer? Yeah. And Lady Hawk is the best movie in, ever. Yeah. On, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so anyway, that's why I asked that, because a lot of writers think of, of actors when they're writing these characters. And if we had the author on, we could ask her. Okay, okay. I'm sorry about Deanna Reborn. <laughs> we should have had her on. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I don't want to like trash talk the book. And then well, that's what I was thinking. We, I would, I would be more. I would, I don't want us to be inhibited in talking about the book. I mean, obviously, we're picking. Uh, me, and, you know, whoever picks the book is recommending it, so it's fine to disagree. But then I thought maybe it would be weird if we had the author on, and then people would be more inhibited about their opinion because You're right. You're you know right. what I'm saying? That's the only thing. Like make you know the casual format is kind of working for us. So I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would definitely recommend reading more of the books in the series because, like, I think two and three are even better, and it They're kind so of fulfills good. that whole arc. Well, but if, she's on, if she's on Twitter, maybe I'll just tweet her and ask her if she thought. Right. Yeah, I'm sure. So, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Don't tell me if this is too spoilery. Do they have sex in the second book? <gasps> I think that's too spoilery. It's too spoilery, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> If Sorry. They do, I'll read it. I'm not. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna read it then. Oh, what? I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna Me read neither. it. I have other. I have other shit to do. I'm sorry. Me neither. If my I have book other sexy put books out. to read. <laughs> Do you want me to write? Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't. Oh. My book doesn't put out. I'm not reading it. Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Boy. I need, I need completion. Amazing. You guys need to read Slave to Sensation next month, and then you'll be like, Felicia, class it up, okay? okay. <laughs> That's what I'm going to get from everybody. I know it. All we right. just We should have started out with Cressley Cole and just yes. gone... Gone in was the that the one direction. that I didn't read, like when you guys all started reading a different book, and I yes. was like, wait, what yeah. are you guys talking about? There's so, no sex in my book. <laughs> I read the uh, Cresley Cole, and I got to the point where there's like, m there's man fluid in on. places that are not normal, and then I was like, no, we're not reading this for our first book. Okay, that's all I have to say about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm reading next. <laughs> we have Twitter responses, too, to okay. the whole celebrity thing. Should we yeah, read those real quick? Yeah, let's do that. All right, Mandy uh, McGee at My Bloody Valentine says, uh, Brisbane should be Colin Hanks. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. I haven't and seen then, him in the last couple years, but he was so cute. He, uh, he was in the, the most recent season of Dexter. Yeah, he was in Dexter. Too scary. Too scary. He Too played scary. the serial killer in the movie Lucky that just came out on Netflix streaming. Oh, my God. He's really trying to creep himself awesome. up, huh? Lost Tyler, where is she? Where is she? Whoa. Wayne. Dwayne Johnson. That's Some a weird Manu one. Manuel Becker. Manuel Becker. Slit, slit. That's not The Rock? Yeah. Yes, and I love me some Dwayne Johnson. I could look at his smile all day. I could just look into his... I want to drown in his smile. It is just like... <laughs> wow. That is, is a bold statement. What about he, when he's flying around on a bumblebee on every single thing in L.A.? Like, get, he's I on my list. He's on my list. Really? Say. He's on the list. Really? The celebrity That's list? Interesting. Yeah. If I think about it, he might be on the list. What number is he on the list? Huh? Um. Huh. Uh, <laughs> There's only five, right? Is that it? There's well, Felicia knows who else is on the list. Oh, Wait. yeah. 
<laughs> that was when you got me drunk, Veronica. You're a very bad influence. Really? Does it rhyme with um, Peyton Hillian? No! Oh. Well, he's on my list. Wait, but no, that's not, he's not on the list. I oh. admire him very much as an actor. But no. It is somebody I know, and then it, when I... I, I Don't! <laughs> I'm not going to say, I'm not going to no! say, but I did text her, and, and I texted her, and she <laughs> got very mad at me. You're making me get sweaty. You're making me get sweaty <gasps> talking about it. I'm getting no. sweaty. <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. Okay, let's go back to um, some suggestions. Mariah Huner says, everybody on Vaginal Fantasy has awesome hair. <gasps> Thank you. Should we do a tease? All right, we're doing Yeah, let's do it a little bit. Just for her. Just for Mariah's. <laughs> Lovely. And she, a little, she has a little mustache on, too. A little curly... Lovely. Okay, ready? Oh. All right. I'm good now. I'm good. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Um, let's see. We have a lot of uh, <laughs> vaginal fantasy. Uh, uh oh. Let's. See. Anybody else can call out any comments? Oh right. Okay. 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 I'm looking on the IC. Uh, Hugh Jackman from uh, Tybonium. Hugh Jackman is Brisbane. I yeah. think that fits perfectly because like Wolverine kind of vibe. Uh, I never bought him as Wolverine, though. Oh, what? Come on. Maybe he's not so in charming. Wolverine, but in X-Men? Come on. He's, he's so Wait, good. Who? He's that. very who? good. Hugh Jackman. Eh. Is Bruce Hugh Jack hands. Oh, he's so what? good, you guys. Did you just call him gay? What? Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> what <it> <laughs> he's <laughs> very <laughs> elegant. That's what I'm saying. He's an I elegant man. Yeah. He's very musical. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. Who's this? Who's this handsome? So Emily Q says Wes Bentley, <gasps> and I am looking at his IMDb page right now, yes. and he's yes. on American list. Beauty. He was in American he's Beauty. Remember? He's on yeah. the list now. Yeah. Wow. Um, Wes Bentley's really good. Also, I should stop announcing people on the list because that is what? inappropriate. <laughs> oh, we well, almost finished. I mean, you're, all, you're so far in, you might as well complete it so everybody knows. <laughs> I just added him, though, so the list is very <laughs> flexible. Well, Monica, if, it makes, if it makes you feel any better, I have a list just for fictional guys I'd have sex with. Oh, oh, I have, oh, yes, 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 okay, 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 I got that one. Let's do that one, because that's <laughs> okay. a legit oh. oh, all right, uh -oh. yeah, let's, oh, let's do this. Okay, <laughs> fictional, and everybody tweets with the vaginal hash hashtag or on the IRC or whatever, because oh, this, gosh. This, is, it, this is less creepy. A little bit. Oh, we're tweeting it? No, 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 we're not going to tweet it, but people can oh. suggest their own yeah. mythological or uh, fictional, sorry. Fictional. If oh, you want like Zeus, okay. you can have Zeus. Um, All right, everyone, yeah, everyone tweet your, this is tweet your old pick. man, what the hell? Who? Zeus? Zeus is on your list? <laughs> and also add hashtag pound the list. The list? Okay, the list. so I'm going to tweet my choice. It's five, right? Five? Oh, and yes. we have to do five? I can't think oh, of five fictional ones at the drop of a hat. I'm just going to go one. tweet your fictional, your fictional, your yeah, fictional, oh, Fenris, yeah. <laughs> Fenris, <laughs> Chippy Chuck, Chippy Chuck and IRC, <laughs> Fenris. Tweet your fiction fives. Alistair. Like, oh, boy. <laughs> you guys are oh, I'm doing no. Alistair because Alistair was totally <laughs> on my list. Okay. Really, Alistair, Alistair? No. Fenris, yes. Fenris. Wait, Alistair from you. Wait, we can't Alistair. both do frickin' Dragon Age. I can do it if I want, Veronica. Oh, yeah, right, fine. You can do it. We can share him. Felicia we'll put him in the Dragon mouth. Age because she was in the Dragon hey, Age. Alistair. You can have him, too, on the off days. Hey, he will be fine. <laughs> on the off Alistair. days. What are you guys talking about? Is this Bowser? Right? Did you just say Bowser? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Beaker, oh, no. the Muppets, Beaker, because no, so tall. no, no one, no one wants to have sex with Beaker. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like you guys in a lab coat. What can I say? Well, okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. oh. For me, it's uh, sweets from Bones. I got a huge crush oh, on that guy. Wait, now I lost my. I forgot my list. Mm -hmm. Crap. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, but everybody take a second. Nobody's nobody's making you rush. Just really make it comprehensive. Right. And we're, or we're so I have to tweet. I have to tweet this. Okay. Well, just you don't have to tweet all five. Just tweet an example and encourage other people to tweet your fiction five. Uh, wait, what's the hashtag again? It's vaginal fantasy. You're in and the group. Also, you can do pound oh, the list as well. The hashtag list. the list. Okay. You also said there was another hashtag. Oh, the list. The okay. list. Just the list. Okay. I know what group I'm in. No, you're right. Your whiskey hasn't gotten, I'm sorry. This tiny bit of wine really made me, for about five minutes, <laughs> the list. I'm typing. 
All right. Me too. Me too. I know. This is going to this is gonna take a while while we... Sorry, I'm typing. But okay. By the way, I will say Sherlock is on my list. Sherlock? Oh, Sherlock is also on my list. But yeah. which Sherlock? Any of them, really. <laughs> Any of them? What about Doctor Who? Any of the Doctor Who's? No, only one, Tenet. Two, really? Three, Not Matt Smith? Four. I need one oh, more. Oh, God. He looks like Ziggy. He has a huge oh. head. No, it's cute in like it's a so fey way. Yeah. No, it's abnormally huge. It's like that Dawson Creek guy. Okay, I have to think of it. I have to Call think of it. took mine in the IRC, damn it. No, don't look in the IRC. I'm you sorry, have to be I wasn't independent. You're too I easily swayed. I am swayed. independent. He just took mine. I'm going to write on the plate. She took mine. I'm going to write on this plate, and I will have my, fi my fiction fives. Okay. All right, everybody take a second. Talk amongst mm. yourself. I will be really I've got four. I'm trying to come up with a five. My fifth. The doctor. Do they have to be human? No. no. <laughs> oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> that just happened. Is that a creepy question? <laughs> no, not for this group. Sorry. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I, I'm. I'm stuck on my fifth one. I need yeah, another fiction my one. Too. Oh! 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 Huh. See, all mine are detectives, and now I'm wondering if that might be a little creepy. Well, that's well, that's something to talk to your therapist about. Therapist? What therapist? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought we all had one. <laughs> the one we got you a coupon for. <laughs> I live in San Francisco. We don't have therapists. We have drag queens. Oh. oh. Sam, I, have, I need one more. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm choking on the last one. That came out oh, wrong. Oh, that's just <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. Oh, I know who it is. You guys are gonna laugh. At this. Oh, all right, yes. mine's up. Mine's up. Oh, here we go. It's Paul up. Rudd. Here we. Yes. Oh, right, so, okay. Paul Rudd's not fictional. It doesn't have to not be fictional. fictional. Oh, does it have to be fictional? Yes, he has yes. to. These are oh. fictional. All right, okay. fictional. So we're okay. not gonna talk about actors because it's we. We, we never. Yes. That could fictional. be a Paul Rudd character, right? You're gonna. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Can they be okay, dead? Yes, they can be everything, everything, Felicia. Just go for it. I want, can, well, it, it, does a dead guy count because Gene Kelly is hot? But, yes. Wait, but no, he's not a fictional character. You can't say Gene Kelly. He's not fictional. Okay, okay, I got it. What is oh, my God. Are you people? really having a hard time with this? Yes. Yeah. I, like, rearrange my... I have a list of 20. I, like, rearrange them before I go to sleep at night. Okay, well, you All can right. go first, then. I just posted okay. my list. I just posted mine. I'll put it in the chat. I'm, okay. I'm gonna, I just, I have too many characters, so hold on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what people who have no idea what we're talking about on Twitter are like. <laughs> if anything, make, this will make a trend, by the way, I'm sure. Really? I don't know. I can't, no, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm going to think of 50 great ones in a second. <laughs> then, yeah, later on tonight when I'm going to sleep, as, yeah. far, as usual, I will think of some dudes. <laughs> Or ladies. Or yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh. I mean, if it's on the five, I like yeah. to spread my five out just to be like multi-ethnic and. Oh, I need to find. Uh, let me think of a lady. Are you really doing it that way? <laughs> Ooh, a lady. Yeah, because you. Ex I want to experience it all. Come on. Wow. Your what lady's got to be um. What's her nut? Phaedra. No, oh, Phaedra. Oh. Phaedra from what? Wait, what? From Kush the Kushiel. Kushiel oh, yes, star. Yes. Oh, absolutely. No, I'm now I'm mad no. that I didn't get Phaedra. <laughs> Fedri. Well, she, no, no. Phaedra. Phaedra. I don't remember. I don't Fedri. know how to pronounce it. She is into pain stuff, which I didn't. Yeah, but she, but she really enjoys it. So you know, you could just, I just kind of, buy, I just, I just sort of buy into it. Like, what's Zena? She's enjoying it, so I guess I'll enjoy it. Yeah. Zena, <laughs> Felicia, Zena. Can I have both of them, Jocelyn and Fedri, at the same yeah. time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can. Do they count? They don't count as one, though. They can count as one. It's our group. <laughs> <laughs> we do what we want. Oh, the, the, the Twitter is like my choices. <gasps> oh. Oh, co co both? Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Anybody want to go first? Oh, yes. Uh, Tybinium. I, I went. I went. Oh, you did? Right? Yeah, I posted it on Twitter. I posted it in the IRC, and I told you I went. Yeah. Well, we, wait, we should, we should announce them so on YouTube everybody okay. knows what they All are. Right. So, somebody go first. All right, since I posted mine, uh, mine's Alistair from Dragon Age. <laughs> Kaboth mm -hmm. from, um, from you know, the Patrick Rothfuss series. Uh, Name of the Wind. Name of the Wind. Eric Northman 
because mm. hello, yeah. Sherlock, all of them, <laughs> and uh, Garrus, Garrus uh, from Mass Effect. I am what? into Garrus. No, what? I'm into him. Hot. What? Alien. Never. Hot Never. alien. Oh. Yep. I would you, do that. You do know that Christopher Lee played Sherlock Holmes, right? Mm -hmm. All of them. And Bad all Bad the Sherlock. All, all, all of them. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Next, Bonnie, go next. Okay. So Sherlock Holmes. My, I like Jeremy Brett from the PBS series because he was really. I loved him, and I also love obviously Benedict because I'm a cumber bitch. What can I say? And then the Doctor. The only one for me was Tenet, but then my first crush was Tom Baker. So. I'd still do Tom Baker. Han Solo. Mm. Oh. Thank I you. I didn't think about that. Yeah, and I didn't either. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> Dean, Dean Winchester from Supernatural. Mm. Oh. Mm. No, I, oh, how did I forget the Winchester boys? Oh. Both of them at once? Yeah. No, no, just Dean. I don't like Sam. Oh. He's got a weird head, too. And he then does. Uh, my last one, if you like Parks and Recreation, you'll know I'll say Ron Swanson. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Not okay. in the genre yeah. world, but I'm okay with it. That right. works. Legit. And also Not fake. Vegetarian. I'm a, I like that. Okay. All right. Mine are Fenris from D D uh, DA2, Thane from Mass Effect 3. How anybody could want Garrus with all those prickly things Thane on his face? Thane is all like, like flat faced. He's like, amazing. I don't, yeah, he's Garrus good. has a really good jawline. And yeah. Oh, his no. Voice he has like a, a mandible. So he's he's going to rip you his apart. Voice is, is, is that awesome. bad? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Listen, Thane <laughs> is my man. In fact, in Dragon Age 2, in the, in the ex uh, expansion that I did, true story, one of my daggers is named Thane. Talus's dagger is named Thane because I kept bothering them every time we'd have a meeting. So can I live with Thane in number three? Literally for a year. Anyway, I don't, he's so, how could you not love him? He's tormented. I I just, he's okay. He's just no Garrus. He's yeah. just, anyway. as, as Natalie in the chat says, Thane is fish. Oh, no. Thane, Thane is Natalie, fish. you need to back off my man. Okay. Thane is the, fish. The rest of it would be um, uh, uh, Jean-Claude from the Anita Blake series, only books one through four. What? Only books one through four. What? Because after that, he started to get emasculated as she started having other men, and I didn't like it. Has, he's like a big whore, too, isn't he? He was... He, was, he loves Anita. All right. All then, the fir I'm telling you, it got bad toward the end. I'm saying from one to three, okay. pretty much. He was amazing. And Rourke from In Death is number one. Anybody read the In Death series? No. Okay, there's 38 of them. Start now. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Right. Why do you like him in it? Like, sell him to us. He's ridiculous. Advertise your man, Alicia. Advertise your man. He is a he's the richest man in the world. He fell in love with this cop who's very tormented. He has a very tormented past. He's Irish. He has a, a brogue. And he's dangerous. And he, he's a computer hacker. And he has a closet full of guns and an amazing hacking machine in his mansion. And they have a cat that's really cute. In his cute. pants. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Someone told you. Wow. Oh, uh, Fletch, when she was nine, said yes for work. Thank you. Okay. Uh, a call says Sirius Black, which is a good one, because yes. Mm. Young I Sirius. I would eat that up. Kyla didn't go. Oh, okay. Uh, my, I, you guys brought up so many good ones, and now I'm like, my list sucks. Um, but, okay, so Sweets from Bones. I love him. Mm. And then um, Phaedra. Uh, mm. Lip, Lip Gallagher from Shameless. I love that kid so much. I know it's not nerdy, but I love him. No, he's cute. I, mean, I made a board for him on Pinterest. Aww. That's devotion. I also made a My Favorite Porn board on Pinterest, just if anyone's interested in that. And <laughs> I haven't added anything to it yet, but I thought it was fun. I have and a hot board, and like the only thing on there is a picture of naked Anthony Bourdain holding like a piece <laughs> of meat over his junk. <laughs> <laughs> because, yes, that. Wow. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> wow. The real list. Um, right. Yeah, okay, and then uh, uh, Kid Video. Did you guys ever watch that cartoon? He's a cartoon? Oh. You're, uh, cartoons on your list? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Kid Video. Okay. That kid okay. was awesome. We uh, have an, um, yeah. Yeah, oh, and then, I put <laughs> really, movie. there's aliens from video games on our list, Felicia, and you're questioning <laughs> her picking a cartoon character. Okay, you're right. Okay, They're not even right. human. <laughs> If we're going to do cartoons, then, then I'm going to put, like, there's so many. Oh, my God. Ooh, Dresden. Dragon Gem says Dresden. Yeah. Um, somebody on uh, Brie Bra Brower says John Spartan 117 from Halo. Uh, uh, no? Uh, yeah, Come on. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, awesome Moth says Fem Shepherd. Oh, Bioware just retweeted us, apparently, Felicia. We're oh, really? Fem <laughs> 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 uh, That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm blushing now. It's kind oh, of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, some really, really good suggestions mm -hmm. on here. I didn't, my, my last one. Oh, I I'm sorry. Finish. Yeah, thanks for interrupting <laughs> me. Um, my last one was uh, Paul Rudd in the Celery Man video. You guys know what I'm talking about with Nude Tain? <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm that saying. was a good video. <laughs> yeah. He deserves, that's good. I mm -hmm. would vote for that as well. Yeah, I was also cracking up at Felicia taking dainty little sips from her <laughs> wine bottle, like trying to... Like Hello, yeah. a lovely suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't even drank any of that. She's not, she's not actually drinking it. Oh, I'm God. a little bit drunk, guys. Look, I got from here to here. No. I seem to remember drinking a whole bottle of dessert wine last time and getting yelled at for it. Yeah. Oh, um, good. It's all good. Okay, I, I think we should read off a couple of these. Uh, uh, Jess Welsey agrees with me about Jean Claude in the first four bo books. La lo lost interest later. Hmm. So thank okay. you. Good to know. Let's see who else. Um, Dean, a lot of Winchester boys. Lots yeah. of Winchester. Yeah. And a lot of people are on the Dean train and not the yes. Sam train. Um, no. Also, Captain Jack Harkness. We haven't talked <gasps> about him at all. Oh, he's not clean. What? Does he feel like he'd be clean in the nether regions? Oh. <laughs> oh. Do you just mean because he has, because he has sex all the time? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he's clean. God, I just yeah. realized what a Bioware whore I am. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bioware makes sexy people. Yeah. Like, a lot of people are, are, are doing Liliana. God, I'm such a shill. I'm, why am I even a shill? I don't even work for them You're or anything. You're not. Like, I'm just like, yeah, all these care, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> because they're really because you they can invest yourself. Sexy. That's actually that's a, a lot of the thread on the games on there. We're talking about how fully fleshed out like romance in video games is not mm -hmm. very common, but it's always uh, I think Bioware does it best. Uh, and people were trying to contribute like what other games where you feel like you're really could be attracted to another character in a video game. There are mm -hmm. some hot guys in the Old Republic, and I'm not just saying that to you know promote Star Wars. There's some hot action going on there. Hmm. Well, like, because there's choice involved. Like, a lot of games, you're force-fed romance. And with Bioware, you actually can choose whether or not you want to engage, you know, which I think is, is cool. Engage. En engage the sexy time. <laughs> I remember when I played Leisure Suit Larry, any girls with boobs yes. I would hit on, and I would want to have sex with any of those, you know, it was just like a yeah. challenge. Like, How many hours did you spend trying to break into Leisure Suit Larry? Like, getting <laughs> past the, the, like, the adult questions they would pose? Yes. Do you remember this? It would be yeah, like on lockdown, <laughs> and you'd have to like answer questions about history and shit to like get into the game. You'd be like, "Quick, get the Encyclopedia Britannica hard copy version that you keep on the shelf over there, and flip through it to find it." That's before Wikipedia. What questions did they ask you? <laughs> they ask like questions about presidents and stuff, and well, you'd yeah, be like, to make sure you were an adult, and then you right. could see more boobies. Right. Yeah. So, so now you, you associate boobs with presidents. That makes sense. I exactly. Mean, it was. It had oh, an, its own internal so good. logic. So um, good. Let's see. We've got uh, uh, Dr. McKay from Stargate Atlantis, Amanda B. says. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. Crichton from Farscape. Wait, did we say any of the Vampire Diary guys? I don't watch that show. I don't oh. either. Oh, you should watch it. Talk about sexy. Yeah. 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 So it's also would... awkward because they're all like, the vampires are old, but, you know, it's they're like school. teens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's, we, I think we talked about this before, but there's um, uh, Thomas Decker. Uh, and I think Thomas Decker not in The Secret Circle, but Thomas Decker in the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Oh, was yes. so super hot. True. Yeah. 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 Even I though am, he's shorter than me. But I have to say, so someone <laughs> in the chat room brought up uh, Oki, Oki Patuke. Okay, but two, two Who's that? In the, in the IRC room brought up, has anyone's secret list uh, brought up Jean-Luc Picard? Yes. <gasps> yes. 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 Yeah. What did we talk about? Yes, a million times. You're right. Yeah. Why yeah. did I miss him? Oh, exactly. actually, yeah. I'm my God. Earl Grey right now. Earl Grey tea hot. Just for nice. Oh, and I forgot hot. to mention Xander. I would I'll take some you. Earl Grey. Oh, Xander. Hot. Yeah, totally yeah. Xander as well. Um, well yeah. I pat Xander. Yeah, oh, I patch Xander is the best Xander. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Krista Lips from um, Twitter says Valak from the Poison series, which uh, the Poison study by, I think it's, her name is Maria Snyder, 
I agree with you. That is hot. It's a, basically, it's a fantasy book, romance, where a girl gets uh, basically condemned to be the taster, the poison taster, or the taster for the king, but Ooh. has the hottest, hottest spy master character. Yeah, it's a very good book. I highly re recommend okay. that book. Highly. Why are you reading that book? Well, because you guys, I wanted to give people graphic you know, naughty times for next time. And okay. we're going to do Slave the Sensation and see Mauve Mist on Genital. <laughs> it's going to be fine. Mauve Showers. I think Poison City would be a good future book to actually okay. pick. So, right. I mean, we could read more than one book. I just, you know. Did anybody else have any questions about the book? Oh, did did yeah, we haven't gotten many questions about the book. Oh, okay. Let's, let's talk, look at IRC or we'll, we'll just, we'll give people a little yeah. second. There's some really good suggestions here. Yeah. Oh, of the five? What's yeah. The weirdest, what's the weirdest one you're seeing? I mean, uh... I almost put Cthulhu. <laughs> tentacles? Really? No, no, no tentacles. Sweet wait. tentacles. Oh, wait a minute. You were going to put a girl on your list to experience everything, but I want to put Cthulhu on my no, list. No, different. Okay. It's, it's a little different. He's, he's a bad... I mean, that guy stands for other things that are bad. So... Really. I don't want to be too human normative. You like <laughs> You like tormented? God, you guys are getting judgy. No, oh, no we're not judging. <laughs> Marissa says Gambit. Gambit. Oh, Gambit yes, is, Gambit, Gambit is, is always sexy. my favorite. Yeah. Oh, I love Gambit. Oh, Gambit well, is, yeah. okay. All right. Gambit well, was my favorite by far. Okay, well, let's also, uh, Night far. Owl. Night Owl from Watchmen. And then, um, uh, what is it? Nighthawk? Nightcrawler? Are you no. talking about your bookcase or Dane? Yeah, I'm talking my bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> I actually am. I am. I'm like, wait, where's the, where where's are my the bookcase comments? Hold on. <laughs> um, Hawkeye. That's what I meant. I, oh, my. Hawkeye. I, I like was really into, oh, my, I'm into oh, Nightcrawler in, in terms Sandman. of. Really? Sandman. Nightcrawler. Sandman. Sandman, no. He's, what? He's I don't know. Yeah, he's kind of groovy. What about Death? Oh, yeah. Death from Here's Alex Anthony? Perkraft? No, 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 from Neil Gaiman's. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, we're talking about Salmon now. Yeah. Okay. She's a perky goth. She's perky goth. Yeah, it's not, not, yeah. The, not the sexy yeah, kind. Really you know, oh, I talk about sexy scenes and Neil Gaiman. Um, that, that scene in American Gods with the, um, with the Egyptian goddess that, oh. that sucks a guy into her vagina. <laughs> what? That oh. was like, we picked that for Sword and Laser, and all of a sudden I get to that scene, and I'm like, what did I do? What have I done to these people? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember her name. It's ba ba Baha Baham don't Bahama. Don't say Bonnie. Don't say Bonnie. It's not. <laughs> Bonnie. Please don't say Bonnie. Please God, don't say Bonnie. Please don't say Bonnie. Don't say Bonnie. <laughs> Chat room, help me. What is what is the Egyptian goddess's name in from American Gods? Come on, help me out. I could Google it. Finally. And is she yeah. on your five? Is she a new one? Nope. Is she an additive? Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> What about, oh, Martin says Deanna Troy, Princess Leia, Laura Croft, and Joe Lupo from Eureka. That's interesting. Oh, Bill Quist. Bill Quist. Bill Quist. It was oh. Bill Quist. Oh, what about uh, Illyria from Angel and, and yeah. Connor? Both of them. Oh, yeah. She's pretty. They could, both get, they could get it on, actually. That'd be awesome. Well, okay. <laughs> getting really specific. It's like a sub list of other people, like <laughs> impartial. I, I do that all the time. I have like a whole scheme figured out. I'm trying to okay. think of more ladies. I'm having trouble coming up with good ladies. With um, ladies? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that, that is storm really, that's from X Men. I had a boyfriend that was really into me. Like Kitty Pride really. better. Oh, Kitty Pride, yeah. I'm glad that no one heard that. Oh wait, what did you, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you had a boyfriend so, what? He had a boyfriend that was re had a Nancy Drew fetish. How does it? How does that happen? How does that how come does that out? play out? Yeah. Did you always mysteries? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? I don't know. I what know. Guy. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just am <laughs> like I'm hearing too much now. Sorry. <laughs> really boring. Roll play. I'm, <sighs> I'm just. I'm picturing you in front of one of those desks with the roll up tops. And you've got like a Sherlock hat on. She never wore a Sherlock hat. I know. Really a deer up. stalker. It's a deer stalker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's happening in my mind Why for your role. Why I think he never. I don't even think he wore those in the books. Oh. He was illustrated as wearing one. I think he wore it once, and it became his like trademark. They make fun of it in the second season of Sherlock, by the way. Oh really? They do. They yeah, make fun of a lot, a lot of the tropes. I need to Sherlock catch up tropes. on that second season. Oh, yeah. I. 
I got the DVD sent to me by, yeah, by me a nice too. young man named John. Oh. Thank you, John. Yes, thank you, John. That if we're doing awesome. fictional lists, Irene Adler is on mine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, who? Wait, Irene what? Adler Irene from Adler. Sherlock. Sherlock. Oh, yeah. From the Holmes canon, yeah. Yeah. From all of um, it. I mean, mm -hmm. that was the only woman he ever really respected other than... Oh, oh, son Rena just um, uh, added Shell from Portal. No. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I, you know, I like, I respect her, but I don't feel sexually attracted to her. Yeah, I want to be her. I want to be her best I friend. Be, yeah, I want to like yeah. be her or be her friend, but I don't want to like kissy time. Okay. All right. No, I, I'm with you there. I'm just trying. Right. I, you know, these. I'm just letting people's suggestions mm -hmm. open up. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. The idea. I feel we like we're are we winding down now. We're yeah, we're winding down, down a little bit. We're grasping at straws to find ladies oh. we'd like to make out with. Oh, Gla <laughs> Glados. Somebody say Glados. Glados. She, she's sorry. a robot, so there's that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever. There's that. She's what? disembodied. I yeah. Like oh, as, I forgot as to as put Deckard. I forgot to put Deckard from Blade Runner. God. Hmm. I failed my list. Well, I you can redo you your can list. You can add it. Yeah. yeah. You I can have a list it. Twenty. I just rearranged them. So. Yeah. I think that we can all just, it, I think we can agree that all Harrison Ford characters are just, th that's just a given. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. regarding Henry wasn't that sexy. <laughs> <laughs> For half of it, it was. Hollywood <laughs> homicide. All right, I have one. I have okay. one. Case Pollard from, uh, from the William Gibson novels. Oh. Um, she's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, like, uh... Frickin', gosh, why can't I remember the, the trilogy that, that she's in? Oh, because I'm drunk. That's why. You <laughs> <laughs> say that's the name of the trilogy. <sighs> oh, because no. I'm drunk. That's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> a little, just a little bit. It's, it's I, funny because you think that would, like, stir more. That would I stir more huge, for you. From Pattern Recognition is, like, the first one. Okay. Comic, I got a huge comic book girl crush on Tank Girl. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. she was like, she had sex with a kangaroo, not that that matters, d not judging, but like she had an awesome car, it was a tank, and all of her friends had awesome, like a jet or sub, and she hung out with awesome chicks, and she kicked ass, and she was funny, and she always had great beer. I don't know. She just Ooh, seemed like it would be cool to hang out with her. Nice. Violence. Um, can yeah, I just sorry. bring back, <laughs> since people were very considerate and, and posted on the Goodreads forum, I wanted to bring up one last, referring to the book, sorry. But Eddie Louise uh, posted, um, I'd like to discuss the idea um, of literature in relation to social values. Um, basically, are the men in Julia's life abusive? And if they are abusive, then what role does literature in this type take in indoctrinating readers to accept or reject such behavior? Which I think is interesting because Brisbane, a lot of people commented that this guy is kind of a jerk. But for some reason, a broody guy who's wearing like a waistcoat, it's okay for them to be a little more rough and tumble or in, in the kind of genre that we're talking about. And is that acceptable? Uh, I felt like he was just withholding, not actually abusive. But he threw her up against a tree and then he did, smashed he his mouth her. on her. Yeah. yeah. Is that bad? He gave her, he gave her a fat lip. <laughs> well, that was like a hot makeout. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is like a, a hard no, I know. kiss. A hard no. kiss isn't abusive. I think he was more verbally abusive towards her than than actually physically abusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's worse in some ways. Not, well, not if you get your ass kicked, but... But if he had, but if like, he had been, like, a modern dude, like, this has been set in a modern time, right? This book had not been a gothic. Okay. Would that, would that guy be... Because I think he was pretty hot in that book, but, like, if I was like, okay, this is just a guy, this is, like, a private detective guy in, like, you know, this year. I would be like, that guy's an absolute jerk. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. So why do we let the, the historical discrepancy <coughs> get away f with that kind of chauvinism and or kind of bossy behavior? Well, it was rampant at the time. I mean, that, that was uh, gender roles, right? Like, this, that was <coughs> normal gender roles. You know, men were, men were aggressive, and, and Bonnie is hacking up a lung. <laughs> and bye. Bye. There, there is a mute switch, BT7. <laughs> But it wouldn't be vaginal fantasy if, no. if we did that. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So is it expected in that kind of genre because it's of a certain time? Like, does that make it hotter or does that make it wrong? I, I don't know. 
I think it makes it hotter, but I think it also makes it wrong. I think that's why it's hotter. And is but it something that writers think that we secretly want, like some guy to be like, to like push us up against a tree and, and mash our face in with a kiss? Oh, absolutely. There are a couple of writers like Cresley Cole. Yep. And what is another one? Like, um, what's her name? Uh, Eloisa right James? Now. Eloisa James isn't that, no, that like not. that, right? No, I love her stuff. I do too, but they're they're also the men are always much more aggressive, and the women are always like, no, I, I don't, <laughs> but I but I do want it, but I don't want it, but I do want it like that. But like, um, but but like some of these authors, like Cheryl and Kenyon, and uh, there are a couple of I can't just think of, but they are very like raw, you know, very yeah. aggressive. Like I don't. You well, that's know, why we I, call them bodice rippers, because the bodice is being yeah. ripped off forcibly. Like is that is that a, a sign of just of, of the genre? Also in in IRC, um, Avian, um, hopefully I'm saying their name right, says that he slipped her drugs to make her talk more. How is oh, that okay? Yeah, that's I forgot true. that. He did roofie her, and that's not he okay. Did her. <laughs> that was not cool at no. all. I was pissed off at that. That's like seriously. And and then he said that he wasn't affected by the drugs because of what reason did he give? that he takes to the drugs all day long or something and it doesn't affect him. I, I totally didn't understand that. Yeah. I just was like, hey, I want, I, I want some truth herbs. I mean, what, it was some like magical truth herbs. I just thought mm -hmm. that was really odd. They yeah, seemed... whatever. That was roofy. <laughs> you totally, yeah. Rohypnol. It wasn't that yeah. great. Okay. We're hitting it all, all up in here. Yeah, I think, I think what people are all agreeing on is that, like, somebody said this well in the chat room, is that, like, uh, <laughs> Tybonium said, fantasy aggressive men can be really hot. Real life aggressive men are a huge turnoff for me. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's true for everyone. Obviously. Yeah, that's but what is that it. about? Oh, that's a, oh, that's, I don't want to say it. That, <laughs> that, this, this is going to get real deep real fast. Yeah. Okay, let's not get <laughs> deep right now. Um, I mean, we've been going, going back to my masculinities class yeah, in college. Me too. Like, I was gonna <laughs> like, women, women's studies. Yes. <laughs> Third wave feminism coming at you. <laughs> um, well, I think we're good. I mean, we've been going for a long time. Yeah, I think we should wrap it up. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry we had a late start because of technical difficulties, but we will try to start fault. on time. It was okay because uh, the Google Hangout, it tends to be, it's very cool, especially the on-air thing, but um, each time we tend to have a little bit of a technical problem, so we'll try to smooth that out and be on time next time. Mm -hmm. And uh, next month's book is Slave to Sensation. <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm cracking up. I love it. I'm going to read it in the bubble bath. That's where I'm reading that one. <laughs> I'm going to start bath. it tonight. <laughs> and I just want to, for the record, you guys requested a little smuttier, sluttier book. So if you want to go back to Respectable, we have plenty no. to choose from. No. Okay. No. All right. There's no going back. No going uh, okay. back. Okay. And be That's sure it. to uh, join our Goodreads forum. Um, it's uh, going to be in the comments below when this is archived on YouTube, and we keep the uh, this discussion going of other books we read and everything else there during the month. Okay, and uh, it's every what, what what when is our hangout? It, it looks like the next episode will probably be the twenty sixth of March. Of March. Okay, last Monday guess. of every month. Yeah, the last yeah. Monday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>